Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel. Today I want to share with you this uh, information I saw recently. This comes from Igor Shornikov and he is the director of uh, the Tiraspol Institute for Sociopolitical Studies and Regional Development. And he recently was um, talking about uh, this particular topic in the context of um, the current situation in Ukraine in relation with Moldova and uh, Transnistria and all this region. So it's important to listen to what he says here. He says, earlier 92 former deputies of the Moldovan parliament wrote a letter to Romanian president Klaus Iohannis urging Moldova to join Romania as soon as possible. <clears throat> so this is uh, not really official as you can see because they were not uh, currently in the parliament but they were former deputies. But this reflects the um, the sentiment of the Moldovans as they want to join Romania as soon as possible and this is long known for everyone in Romania. I was in Romania many times and the sentiment in Romania is that uh, Moldova is part of Romania. They see it like that. And there was even some recent talks about the um, situation of Moldova which recently applied to join the EU and the situation of uh, Moldova I, I already made a video about this uh, where I mentioned why Moldova and Ukraine should not be admitted into the EU because they are not uh, up to the standards but there was some talk uh, about the fact that if Moldova wanted to join the European Union quickly, the best way will be to um, join Romania, so that way they will immediately become part of uh, the European Union, so they, uh, this will be kind of the possibilities and that's why this, uh, this person, Igor Chornikov, is mentioning it. And um, so this is has to do with the historical links of uh, Moldova in relationship uh, with Romania and um, he mentions something else here uh, he says Prisnestrovian uh, that means the people that live in the area of uh, Transnistria that's how they call this term Prisnestrovia they do not think of themselves in the context of the Romanian speaking area. Therefore, Romania's ambitions for Moldova are fraught with a new armed conflict in the Nister. Nister is this region of, uh, of Moldova. Let's pay attention to this. So this is what is Moldova currently in yellow. So all this region is Moldova and annexed to it politically is uh, this uh, part of uh, the country that is called Transnistria, which is uh, self-proclaimed independent, is not officially um, recognized as independent, but is uh, de facto, uh, somehow they have retained some kind of independence even though politically they are the same one and the same country so this is what they are referring to uh, the people living in the region of Moldova they consider themselves uh, officially Romanians they speak Romanian language even if they themselves call the language Moldavian um, this is basically Romanian language by another name, that's what it is, and most people will agree with that. So, this is um, the cities that are in the, this region Dubasari, Tiraspol, you know, these are the main regions in the Transnistria. 
and the rest of course is uh, Moldova and he says that he believes that unless Transnistria is a recognized independent state the question of Moldovan accession to Romania will be most strictly linked to security issues in the Nister. He says the region of Transnistria, whose population is 60% Russian and Ukrainian, wanted to secede from Moldova even before the collapse of the USSR, fearing that Moldova will join Romania in a wave of nationalism. So I agree with this guy in the um, context of this uh, situation. In my opinion, will be healthier and much easier politically and in any other in every other situation to just uh, grant Transnistria independence. There are some people who speak Moldovan language in this region or Romanian language if you want to call it but it's a minority um, and I think uh, everyone recognizes that even people who speak uh, Romanian language in, Mold in the Transnistria region they also speak uh, Russian so it is, uh, it is what it is I think it will be uh, possible to reach a peaceful resolution. I think if the Moldovan government granted independence to the Transnistria region, it will be a very peaceful uh, resolution of the conflict and then Moldova will be allowed to freely join Romania if they so want it, which I think this has a lot of um, approval uh, both between the population of Romania and the population of Moldova. I, both of them want to become a single country, so this will have a high level of approval between these two. So my opinion is that if this were to be done, it will, it will just be a political decision to allow these people to secede, to become independent, and what knows what will happen after they becoming independent? Will they join, um, I don't know, Ukraine, Russia, now that the current uh, conflict in Ukraine is happening, maybe they will access um, the possibility to become part of uh, Russia if they so wanted, if they were granted the official independence from uh, the government of Moldova, they will have the opportunity to have a um, referendum and maybe join Russia that's an opinion. I don't know what will happen, but I think that will be done in a very peaceful way and it's just up to politicians to allow this to happen because people in the ground, they already feel themselves not part of the same ethnic group, the same linguistic heritage. So I think uh, it's important to understand this for for the historical reasons and uh, political reasons it will be better for everyone in the if this were to happen so one other thing that i wanted to mention here is um the recent um intentions that i think not official intentions but uh, of um, when I was living in Romania, uh, many times I saw people just uh, saying that uh, Basarabia is uh, Romania. No, this is like the the motto. A lot of people in Romania think that Basarabia is part of Romania, and Basarabia is all this region, including a small part of uh, Ukraine here in the north, and a small part of uh, Ukraine here in the south. All the people in these regions speak uh, Romanian language and they have um, Romanian heritage. Even if there are some Ukrainian people living there, it is a minority. So in this region, which is called Basarabia or Bessarabia, um, all the people here have a high percentage of Ukrainian heritage. Uh, so 
this is uh, the situation. That's why Romanians uh, see this as part of their ambitions to become part again of Romania. And all this region was part of Romania uh, briefly during the World War II because Romania allied themselves with the um, with the Axis with Germany. They were um, fighting together with uh, Germany in the Second World War and they occupy this region, the region of Moldova, including um, all this region that is considered Basarabia. So this happened during World War II and uh, this is uh, the same region, only consider the part that uh, involves um, Moldova, but this is all the region that historically was known as Basarabia or Bessarabia. And there is also the situation of Bukovina. This uh, province of Bukovina now is split between Ukraine in the north and uh, Romania in the south. This is uh, still called the Bukovina region in Romania which includes uh, Sushava and all these regions, all these uh, small cities. So this is um, this uh, city in Ukraine that is called Chernipsi. In Ukrainian language this is called Chernautsi. So this is the Ukrainian name for the same city. Chernipsi, Storichenets, uh, Storichinets doesn't appear in this. Oh, it is here. Storichinets. It, it even has the same name, only Romanized. So all these cities are considered part of the Bukovina region. And also Romania or the people of Romania see this part as uh, part of their own country. So if, um, I don't know, if a situation will come into place that will allow this region to become part of Romania again, I think we'll have the support of uh, most of the Romanian people. And here you see ethnically how it's um, divided. Most of the people in this region is Romanian, <coughs> especially around the area of Chernipsi and Storiginets. Uh, with uh, now currently there is a uh, probably a majority of Ukrainians in this region, but uh, there is a smaller part of the Bukovina region which has a ethnic Romanian majority. So that's the region and uh, this is the current map of the region. This is the city of uh, Sastavna, which appears here in this map. This is the top of the map here, Sastavna. So here you have Chernipsi, Storiginets here in the south. So all this part goes back here. This is Suchava. So all this region here is Bukovina. And all this region here is um, what is considered Bessarabia. All this part in the south, which uh, I think interestingly, all this part is sparsely populated in current uh, Ukraine. They don't have a lot of uh, things. Uh, they have a big um, nature reserve in this area because I think there is uh, some not uh, very easy to live in this area because of the water situation. I think it is um, some kind of um, water inland if I remember correctly. So anyway, this is um, the political situation here and how all this um, relates to the current situation in, um, in Ukraine. 
so secretly and no so secretly i mean secretly from the point of view of the politicians they say they want to take over this all this region and um, i don't oppose this i think it will be a fantastic political situation uh, resolution for the conflict people of moldova will love to become part of romania romanians will love to welcome the moldovans they yes uh, i think it will be much easier if they just let go of the um, transnistria region and this could be done completely in a peaceful way you know this is my opinion so let me know what you think about this and as always i ask you to please like the video share the video in social media and subscribe to the channel i hope to see you again very soon thank you for watching